Hey guys, welcome back to another interesting topic. Today's topic is on ImplyGate. So before we go into the topic, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on. And if you have any doubts, comment down below. I'll respond within 24 hours. So how an imply gate is represented? So it's as shown in the figure. So it's an R gate, but one of the input is complemented. As you can see, the input P is complemented and then given to the R gate. I triple representation of imply gate is as such. So this is a normal gate symbol and this is the I triple format. To know about the functionality, let's go for the truth table. So the imply gate is represented by an arrow symbol that is P implies Q. So here are the inputs 0, 0, 0, 1 and 1, 0 and 1, 1 and this would be the output P implies Q. Okay, this is a P implies Q or we can write it as not of P or Q as shown in the figure. Not of P or Q. Okay, that would be our output. So the functionality of imply gate boils down to a single statement. That is, if P is true, then output follows Q. Otherwise, output is always true. So from this statement, we can fill our truth table. Since P is false, so the output will be true. And here, since P is false, the output will be true. Now, since P is true, the output will follow Q. So the output will be zero. And here also P is true, so the output follows Q. So the output will be one. So now, since it's a NOR gate, as you know, the NOR gate output is high whenever one of the input is high. So here, not of P will be one and Q will be zero. So the output will be one. Since Q is one, the output will be one. Here both the inputs are zero, so output will be zero. So one of the input is one, so the output is one. So this is the functionality of an imply gate. So my question is, is imply gate an universal gate or not? To know that, let us understand what is the definition of universal set or functionally complete set. So here's the definition of an universal set or a functionally complete set. Any arbiter boolean function can be implemented by using the gate available in that set. So what does it mean? Let us say we have a set which contains the following gates. And, or, and not. By using the gates inside this set, we will be able to perform any operation we want. So we are able to perform not operation, or operation, and operation, and NAND operation using these gates. By using these gates, we are able to achieve all the boolean operations. So this set is called as a functionally complete set. So let us look at one more set, which will give you a brief idea. So by using a NAND and NOR gates, we are able to perform all the boolean operations. So this set is also called as universal complete set. So let us look at more examples for our better understanding. So we have two sets over here. One is using not an and and not an or. So by using not an and, we are able to achieve all the Boolean operations. So this is a functionally complete set. By using not an or, we are able to achieve all the Boolean operations. So this is a functionally complete set. Let us take an example for functionally incomplete set. So here are two examples for functionally incomplete. With AND gate, we will not be able to achieve all the Boolean operations. So this is not an universal set and this is not an universal set. So now coming to imply gate, whether it's an universal or not. As you can see in imply gate, we have two gates that is NOT gate and OR gate. So that is our imply gate is NOT and OR. By using NOT and OR, are we able to get all the Boolean operations? So let's check it. So the first operation we are performing is a NOT operation. Here we are giving one input as zero and another input as P and we are able to get the complement of this input. So imply gate can act as a NOT gate. So now let's go for NAND and AND, whether it can perform NAND operation and AND operation. Yes, imply gate can act as NAND gate and AND gate 
if we connect as such. Here we are giving one input as zero and another input as P. We are getting P complement and this P complement is being given to another imply gate with other input as Q and we are getting our output as P dot Q whole bar. So this is NAND operation. To get AND operation, we need to remove this complement. We need to get P dot Q. So we are using a NOT gate where another input will be zero. So we got our AND operation. Now let's look for a NOT operation and OR operation. So we are able to get NOT operation and OR operation as shown. We are using zero as one input and Q at the NOT gate input and we are getting Q complement and giving it to the NOT gate of the imply gate and other input is P then we are getting P plus Q and giving it to the NOT gate so that we can get our operation for the NOT that is P plus Q whole bar so this is the NOT operation and we are able to execute it using three imply gates one two and three and as you can see that we got our OR gate over here so our OR operation will have only two imply gates that is P plus Q is achieved using an imply gate. So let us look at the applications of imply gate. Imply gate is mostly used in the combinational circuits. So here's an example of an imply gate application. Here it is a 2 to 4 decoder where we are implementing it using imply gates. So the outputs are coming from the imply gate. So the important point of this video is on functionally complete set or universal set that is a set contains containing the following gates must be able to perform all the boolean operations. So that's an important point in this video not about the imply gate. So if you don't know about the imply gate that's fine you have learned. So the important point is you must be able to check whether it's functionally complete or not. So I hope you like this video and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed and make sure you hit that like button too because YouTube algorithm likes more likes. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and stay healthy and be brave.